Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Best Burgers. You are on the Jones Adventures. My name is Matt. I'm Beth. This is episode three. We are four burgers in, two more to see on this episode. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's pull them out of the Mickey bowl. Uh, Beth, would you like to do the honors and yes. get the first <laughs> burgers out of the bowl? Bowl of burgers. Oh, what have you picked? Miami. We've got the Miami burgers. So the Miami ones I got from Morrison's. There we go, Miami. And I'll go for these ones. And we have the Naked burgers, Ooh, which we have not tried. The Miami one I think we tried a long time ago, maybe yeah. like once. I don't remember that one at all. Uh, the Naked burgers, I was going to say, all the Naked stuff that we've had has been pretty good. Um, I'm surprised another was picked actually as our, as our dark horse. Yeah. To be fair. That's, yeah. Uh, I've, I've got high hopes for this one. So we'll see what happens. We'll get cooking and we'll be back with you in a minute. Oh yeah. Here we have it. So we have our two burgers. Now, we after the last one, we've decided to give ourselves a couple of days off. The reason for that is because the last two were so ridiculously big that we, we had a very brief moment where we decided we were sick of burgers. Yeah. But I think we're okay now, we're all right. So we're gonna carry on. Um, so we have the two burgers in front of us. We have the Miami on my left and the Naked Burger on the right. Um, my first thoughts for these ones is they're a little bit smaller than last time. <laughs> So, Not let's see what happens. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dig into the Miami, that was the first one picked out, so we're, we'll go for that one first. Beth, you can have a couple of them up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll get to the Miami. <laughs> All right, here we Yes, I am ready to rate this burger. Now, as you can see guys, just to quickly show you that, I didn't do a half and half for this one like we did in the last episode because the patties are pretty, pretty small on this one. Um, but yes, this is the Miami, uh, which I was from Morrison, so. Um, well, get started with the rating. So the first one is size. As I've just expressed, they are, Oh, this particular one is is quite a thin, uh, quite a thin patty. Size wise, it's okay if you're talking about kind of the, the diameter, of it, but it is a very very thin patty. I mean, that is even thinner than the Umph burger. Um, and I got, I mean, I gave the Umph a six, so I can't go as high as that. Um, I will go. I'm gonna have to go for a four, I think, for size on that one. Pretty small burger. Yeah, I'll go for a four. Copycat. Um, taste. I think it's quite good. I, I that's what taste actually makes agree with you. I think, this, I think the taste is surprisingly okay. I, yeah. I don't remember this from last time, but I think the taste is surprisingly good. Um, I'd say maybe a seven. Not amazing. Yes, yeah, because it's not amazing, but certainly for the size of it, it's, it kind of makes up for it. It has got that, it has got that little punch of meat in it. Yeah. Um, I'm a six. I'd say seven. I'm a six. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, Texture. Again, texture-wise, I think it's okay. Now, the thing with texture, he's got Thor in the middle. Uh, sneak in. There, yeah, there he is. Um, texture-wise, it reminds me of fairground burgers. Like uh, that's where it, that's exactly yeah. where it reminds me of. It reminds yeah. me of if you've got a fairground burger that you buy from Little Burger Van. Um, so that's always a, that's always a very thin patty. They stick some onions on and some cheese and whatever else. Um, and the bun's really soggy, <laughs> and you put your own sauce on. That's the kind but of burger. Good burgers, I know. That's the thing. They are like they are satisfying burgers at fairgrounds. But yeah, there's something. It's not quite satisfying this one. But the um, but yeah, texture, texture. That's what it reminds me of, and I I quite enjoy that. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a seven for texture yeah. on that one. Yeah. Same. Um, I, I actually really like it. Yeah. If you dress it up right with the right yeah. toppings and things. Then yeah, 100%. I think, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then price, so £2.50. 
Two pound fifty for these. Uh, again, two patties, and if I'm comparing, like, again, comparison to the other burgers that we know for the pricing that it is, two pound fifty for the size of these, and the fact that yeah, okay, they taste okay, texture's okay, but again, not amazing. And for me personally, I don't think it's amazing value for money. Um, so I think. For price, I am going to go slap around the middle and say five. I'm going to go six. I might have been slightly harsh there, but... I really like the taste <laughs> That's of what I'm going for. I'm going for a five. I like Bang in the middle. And I think it's partly because of the size for me. The size has brought it down because it's just the way it is. But there we go. Um, so that is uh, the thing. Obviously, you'll see the scores on the screen there. Um, I won't kind of open their head because I'll do it afterwards and stick on the video. Uh, so um, I'm going to move on to... The Naked Burger. I, I actually am looking forward to this. I really hope this is not disappointing because after the last time, the two burgers, the Plank Kitchen and the Morrison's Burger, they looked so good and so massive and juicy and they were pretty disappointing. So, Naked, don't let me down. Okay, and we've just had half of the Naked Burger as well. Um, so we're gonna do that all important scoring compared to the Miami um, Burger. So, um, size. Size, again for me, is a little bit disappointing. When I opened the packet, I expected it to be bigger uh, and it really wasn't. Um, it's a little bit thicker, isn't it? Mm. It's a little bit thicker, but it's it's smaller. So, like I was just saying then, and that's partly to do with the bread. So just to just to kind of give a bit more of a background on that one, we've used the same thing for every single one of these burgers. We have the same bread, uh, same sauces, same uh, spinach we've got on the bottom, the base on there as well, and we put a slice of big tomato on there. So we have exactly the same for every single burger. So we're not compromising that in any way um, with each one. So. With the with the bread, and that's partly because of the bread we've chosen. Um, if you're having to get a really big bite to get a good portion of this burger, that's that's my yeah. that's yeah. my bugbear with that one is that you're having to try and get your mouth right in there just to yeah. get a good chunk of the, the meat-free burger. Yeah. <laughs> Not the meaty burger, the meat-free burger, and, th and that again brings it down slightly for me. Um, I'd probably go exactly the same, just because, just with the power comparisons we've had in the last two. Yeah. It's a little bit chunkier, but not as wide. So I'm going to go the same for size, which I said was four, so I'm going to go for four. What did I go? Five last time. I think I'll give it the same. <laughs> five. <laughs> no, you, yeah. co you copycatted me, didn't you? How did I? I I'm going did for I say five? five? I don't know. I've said four. I'm going for four. Um, taste. Taste um, similar, oh, similar to. I was gonna say, I like for me, I, I took a bite into it, and I'll be honest, I didn't really get much. I didn't After get much eating that one, yeah, I didn't if get much I did eat this, this is this is like this is the Linda McCartney. Yeah. Um, There's just so much more seasoning in there. Yeah, they're just. Miami and again, like I said, from from what I would want from a burger, I I don't want to lose that that meaty flavour yeah. um, and for me the Miami have done that slightly better yeah. which I, I'm genuinely quite shocked about um, yeah. I thought the Naked would have done better with that as a as a burger so um, given how good their other stuff is so again disappointing I'm going to go five I think yeah I'd say five um, on, on flavour and taste uh, texture yeah, it's pretty good texture's pretty good actually yeah I think texture's, texture's pretty spot on for that um, that's really not bad at all the um, mm. texture for me is pretty good. I'm gonna go eight on texture, I think that's, I think that's pretty spot on. Um, I'm gonna go seven texture, um, and then it's quite juicy, isn't it? That one, that's, mm. that's mm. quite nice. I don't think this one's got as much, and that's I, I think again, that comes from the size and the fact that it's a thinner pattern, yeah. you, you don't get as much that, that, that bounce that you just get with a nice. Steaky burger. You don't get that. <laughs> I'm watching that burger will be straight off your plate. Yeah. Um, price uh, for the naked burgers is three pound. 
the naked burgers from Tesco we found them. Yeah. Bit steep. Yeah. You may even compare it to others and what I'd be after from a burger. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think they've, they've compromised on the taste. The really, really the good. The chicken is so good. Like, the chicken is very good. This this can do with good. a little bit more yeah. um, for me. So price, I think for what it is. Again, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mark it down. I can't remember what I gave you, Miami, but four. I'm gonna have to four. It's there's no flavour for me, um, and that's and that's that's certainly lacking something for me. Yep, four as well. There we go. Um, <laughs> that is very close, actually. I can't think in my head what we said for the other one now. Oh, well. So there we have it. Um, so Miami Burger is your winner for this uh, this matchup. Um, I'm pretty shocked by that. I thought the naked would would breeze through this one. I'll be honest. Um, but we both compared the Miami to that kind of fairground burger van feel, and, and I think we both we both quite like that. So um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how that fares in the next round with whoever it comes up against. Um, but there we are, Miami, through to the next round. So we're going to finish the burgers off because we are still pretty hungry right now. <laughs> and uh, we will see you in the next one. Um, this is uh, an extra bit, really, because we're going to do it's a double feature. So you've already seen the first bit. Um, this is kind of the add on now. We're doing um, another two burgers on this same video as well. So um, we have actually got a little confession to make in that I actually have 14 burgers, not 30. How I mentioned right at the very beginning of the first episode, we actually have 14 burgers because I missed the uh, green cuisine ones out. So uh, we have put that in the bowl. Uh, so we have our bowl of burgers here. And uh, yes, you've already seen the previous thing. So uh, we'll just get cracking. What do you make about first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Aldi. Aldi burgers. Yeah. Solid favourite. This one. Against the Vivera. So there is going to be a pretty good burger going out here. Um, because I think we actually, we actually like pretty, both of those. Yeah. So oh, that's quite, dis that's quite an unfortunate well. matchup as well. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so Vivera. Against Aldi is your second uh, matchup for this double-headed video of meaty free burgers. So uh, we get cooking. See you in a bit. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so we have, as we pulled out from the magical bowl of burgers, the Aldi burger, which is this one here, and also the Vivera uh, burger, which is this one here as well. Um, you may notice that I've got nothing on my plate. The reason for that is we decided we're not too hungry tonight, so we thought we'd do half a burger each for each one um, and not eat two and look like absolute fatties. So uh, that's what we're doing tonight. We just have a half burger each for each one. So let's cut these up. And uh, it means I can show you the insides as well, like I did with oh. some of the other one. Beck doesn't like the noise of me scratching plates. Did it again? Like yeah, we can probably try and. Muffle that one. Uh, there we go, muffled with my screens. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this half here. And uh, you may choose the half which you want. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was nice with the cheese. So, uh, so yeah, That's so Aldi. Turn on that. I'm just going to flip them around like that. And you can see from the uh, the look of them, they are pretty similar actually. They've both got that little pinkiness going on in the middle, which um, obviously you get from kind of steaky burgers. Aldi one's a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, there's a, they are pretty good. Yeah, okay, so. Aldi over there, which one are you going for? Aldi. Aldi. Okay. Always start on the left. Aldi first, last time on the left. Let's do some scoring before we move on to the, uh, <coughs> the lovely Vivera. Um, size. Is it a good size? Yeah, I think it's all right. I'm what gonna, are you uh, An eight. Um, I wouldn't say it's that good a size. 
There's a good thickness, I'd say. It does, yeah, but I, I, no the rich. ratio of it is not good. I mean, I'm looking at the Vivera going, it's a, it's a dance how bigger than the Vivera one. Yeah. Um, seven, I'm going with seven. It's a good size, it's chunky, relatively wide, I'd say I'm seven. Yeah, I'm going for a seven. Um, taste. I would say it's certainly not the worst burger out of the bunch. No. Definitely, definitely not. I'd still not. rate it quite well. Um, the taste I'm, is nice. I'm going to go for a six. Uh, I think the the meatiness is there in comparison to other burgers. Um, I would say, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasant burger to eat. It's a pleasant burger I'm to eat. I'm going to go seven. Oh. Um, texture. Texture. Yeah, it's good. I see, for me, texture is the one that lets that down a bit. I think um, it's very soft, and I like a bit of uh, in it. Um, I'm going to seven again. Um, not, it's not disappointing, but I'll, I'll, I'll say for me, that's what it lets it down. So I'm going to five, five, and finally price. So these are. I've actually gone up recently, so they are now £1.69, but they, they were £1.49. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, they've gone up a little bit. No, they're, well, no, they're, they're £1.50. More expensive. Um, they're £1.50. But they have recently gone up to £1.70. I didn't notice that last time we were in Aldi. So, let's say £1.70 for the sake of argument, because that's what they are now. Obviously, if you're watching the video, this is the price that they are now. Um, <laughs> you can't have any burger. Can you? Huh? No. No, you can't. No. Um, and uh, yeah, I would say for me personally, for £1.70, yeah. Yeah. there is only. <laughs> what? Can I have this all, Yeah, there you go. You have that bit. There is only, out of the bunch that we've got, there is only one burger cheaper than this out of all the bunch we've got. And for me, that, that rates it pretty high. Um, for one pound seventy, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good burger. It's, it's quite nice actually. Um, so I'm going to go for a nine, which I believe is the first nine I've given out in the whole thing. Yeah. So I'm going to go for a nine for price for me. Yes, yeah. I'll go for the same. So there we are. Scores on the screen. Ta -da! Um, so that's your healthy burger, and we'll move very swiftly on to the Vivera burger um, for your viewing and before it gets cold as well. Here we go, Rivera. So, we've just both finished our Rivera uh, burgers, so we have now completed the eating part of our fourth set of burgers in round one. Um, and uh, we need to score the Vivera. So, size. It's a good size. It's quite small. For me, it's one of the smallest burgers going. Um, it's the thickness though. I'm kind of in on thickness. In the middle part it does, but then it, it tails off at the edges. For me. I'm going to go um, five. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Good. In terms of size, I'm trying to think what I gave some of the other ones um, that were obviously a bit. Uh, thin. Like it's, it's got the chunk in the middle. It's a little bit, a little bit short on the on the, the width. Four. I'm going four for that one. Um, that would be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, taste. Taste. I think this is pretty good taste-wise. Actually, I think it's got the meatiness of it. Um, I think it still it tastes again like you know those weird fake manufactured. Products. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that tastes more like than than the other one. Yeah. What did we say? Plant Kitchen was it? I can't remember which one it was, but we mentioned about one of them tasting like a, a weird hot bug. Um, I think that one tastes a bit more like that. Yeah. Um, but you like those. But I I don't necessarily yeah, dislike I that. Have that. Um, I don't necessarily dislike that. Well, you've got a chance to rate it now, so you can give it whatever you want. I'll rate it uh, four. Oh. Oh, um, I, I quite, I, I don't know. I quite like the taste of that. I, I don't think it's too bad. Um, is it what I expect from a burger? Probably not. Six. I'm going for a six. Um, texture. Now the texture of this is very steak-like. It's very chewy. It's 
It's very tough. Um, it's almost a bit too tough. Yeah, I don't really um, again. Okay. It's disappointing. You know what's you know what's really strange is that I, overall I actually really like the Rivera stuff. Yeah. But when I rank it against what I would expect from a, another burger, it's not there. It's really no, not there at no. all. So uh, texture. I like the steakiness of it. I think I, I actually quite like things like that. But it was almost over steaky. It was too chewy. It was too tough. Yeah. Um. So five. And that's been, I'd say I'm being generous. Yeah, I'd say five as well. I, I, I think we're being I love the Rivera or the stuff though. I know, like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's what I was saying. I think there's, there's, there's like that, they're just, individually they're in the categories yeah. that we've chosen, this is quite a disappointing burger. But I actually, I, 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 I wouldn't dislike the, I don't dislike the Rivera no. stuff. I just no. think in comparison to what we've been talking about with the other burgers, it's just not there. Um, and uh, finally, price. Uh, I believe I got these for two pound fifty. They are often in sale for two pound, but um, two pound fifty is their normal retail price. Um, which you can get at Asda, I believe, is where I got them from. Um, <laughs> all things, all things considered, two pound fifty for the two burgers. Again, not a bad price. I'm just gonna bang in the middle again. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, scored on the doors. Um, Aldi. Aldi's a winner out there, hands down with that one. Um, for me, it's the price, it's the texture, the taste. Uh, and the taste, I'd say, is probably on par in terms of where I'd expect them to be. Um, which is interesting because I, I think the Vivera is obviously. I would consider the Vivera being more of an up, up, up market kind yeah. of burger, more, more yeah. brand compared to obviously Aldi. Um, but we love Aldi, so um, and that obviously shows is the fact that it's um, I, we prefer their burger. So Aldi through to the next round, and uh, we'll see you for the next video. I don't think there's anything else to say. There it is. Really. So Aldi uh, going through. Can you say bye, Thor. Bye-bye. <laughs> See everyone. Bye. See you next to the video. Bye-bye. Oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification, which I think is on that side. Somewhere over there. Um, like, comment. If there's any other videos you'd like us to do that's food related, so comparing stuff, um, then obviously let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll certainly try and give those a go once we finish all these burgers off. Um, and then obviously do the next round and the next round and the next round until we get a winner. Um, but yeah, give us some stuff to do. Uh, we like making the videos, so keep them going. Thanks, guys. Bye.